And in the Chicago mayoral race, the field will likely shrink as challenges are filed to knock several candidates off the ballot. Our political editor, Mike Flannery, is here with more on that. Mike. Well, Don and Corey, at least four mayoral candidates have been challenged as of the 5 p.m. deadline that just elapsed, including the son of former Mayor Eugene Sawyer, 6th Ward City Council member Roderick Sawyer. But each of the well-funded front runners has so far avoided a challenge. The four candidates with the most resources and the most money, which of course is Mayor Lightfoot, Congressman Garcia, Willie Wilson, and Paul Vallis, the four of them uh, will be on the ballots. Um, I don't believe they're going to be challenged, and if they are, uh, they would certainly withstand that challenge. That's Brian Hopkins, who represents the downtown and near north side second ward in the city council. He took a close look at attempting to remove Mayor Lightfoot from the ballot. He and uh, those working with him concluded the mayor likely does have the required 12,500 ballot voter signatures to secure a ballot spot, though Hopkins says he found problems on her nominating petitions. And frankly, we found some. We didn't find enough. Uh, to continue the effort with just a couple of days left because uh, it, it looked like we were going to uh, run out of time even if uh, she was short of 12,005. We simply didn't have enough time to prove it on a line-by-line -line basis. So challenges uh, as of a few minutes ago had been filed against uh, uh, Alderman Sawyer, police officer uh, Frederick Collins, activist Jamal Green, and political newcomer Johnny Logalbo. I'm political editor Mike Flannery.